So guys, I discovered something pretty interesting. It's a very, very simple prompting process that takes Claude's ability to code to the next level. Basically, it's self-improving AI dev with Claude Desktop plus Desktop Commander, and then optional browser use. This will also work with Klein. This will actually work better with Klein and Roo. The reason being is because they have the browser use API set up. Unfortunately, Claude Desktop doesn't. I thought it did, but it actually doesn't. And I'm going to show you exactly what this system built for me very, very quickly and very, very easily. So this is the website you can see here. This is perhaps the best if, yeah, it, it's the best I've ever seen, right? It's easily the best designed. Everything works. Everything is um, SEO'd. This is literally the best I've ever seen out of any attempt from Claude to build this website. The only thing that doesn't work is the, oh, the Italian version does work. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, for some reason, it changes back to English in some cases, but uh, yeah, I mean, everything works. You can see literally everything works. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna show you, I'm not gonna build this again. I'm gonna show you how I did this, right? So the first thing I did, just ignore the name, okay? I just write the first thing that comes into my head, okay? And it gets me into trouble, but... So I made this new folder, right? I ran npx create next app at 14.2.23, <laughs> the name of the folder, which obviously, I didn't think this was gonna be the recording, but then I decided to film it like this, so now everyone knows that that is the name of my folder. And then I just press yes, 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 yes. And now I take a screenshot of this because, and I'll tell you why, I feel like 99% of the times that there's some kind of problem with Next.js, it's because the install settings are not known to the developer, i.e. the AI, right? So it needs to know what settings were used here. Now you could try and get desktop commander to make you your Next.js project. For me, that hasn't worked, right? And then the prompt is just the prompt that I always use. Um, it's on my school community. I'll leave it in the uh, description of this video as well if i remember so it's just on all my prompts feel free to join the school it'll be the first link in the description but basically um this is the prompt right here and there is also a sop here too now the only other mcp that you may need for this except desktop commander is bright data the reason being is because you're building something that has like um the the car like this is a specific car it's a rolls royce ghost 6.6 .6 engine um, so basically what you could do is you could get, for example, the specifications of the car to make sure that they're consistent. So I used the desktop commander MCP for this. The reason being is I really like how it actually allows you to properly like read the output of things. Another cool thing is that there's an edit block option instead of just editing the entire folder. But let's basically run through this process. So just before we get into the process, I'm going to tell you what's slightly different about this. But basically, instead of just running npm run dev, right? What we're actually going to do is we're going to run npm run build, right? And then we can fix all of the build errors. And then after that, we run npm run dev, fix all the runtime errors, fix everything, right? And then you can literally just put it on GitHub, right? You could even just say, it's written, by the way, GitHub these days is super simple. Literally all you do is you just make a new repository, right? Create it. You do need Git SCM installed for this, um, but just get Claude to help you install that and to add it to path. And then I could say, I can't say it in this conversation because this conversation has used the 200,000 uh, context length, but push, you could, you, all you do is say push this to GitHub, right? And then give it the link and it will literally write, write and run all of the commands to push it to GitHub, right? And then the really cool thing about this is this part here, right? Make the project I've outlined, but change two things. Firstly, you must deliver a perfect project, launch the project on browser and self-improve both the style and look of it, as well as ensuring everything is implemented properly. Secondly, ensure there are no errors, fix the errors you find using browser logs. So what this did was it did the standard build, right? So up until probably, um, you know, up until I stopped saying continue. So up until, let's say, so up until about here, right? Now it starts to say, let's try running the development server. It runs the server, right? And then 
it literally can see the mistakes that there are, right? Read the output. Middleware cannot be used with output ex uh, export, right? So this is something that is very common. So it fixes that, beautiful. Terminate the process, run it again. There we go. Let's see if there's any uh, outputs this time. Read output. Okay, so there's still the same error. So continue to fix, continue to fix. No errors, beautiful. And then it starts to run npm run build, right? And then there are mistakes. So it runs npm run build, it fixes the mistakes. It runs npm run build, it fixes the mistakes. And then if you're using Klein or Roo, like towards the end of this, if you're using Gemini, for example, you don't have to use Anthropic, right? So this finally builds, beautiful. And then in my head, right, the, the next stage of this, now this didn't work because um, I, I, for some reason, I thought that Claude could just open my browser. I, I don't know why I thought that. Klein can, right? I could, I could hop on over to Klein and say, um, open up my browser t and test and see what's broken. But um, I've, since then, I've added something called browser MCP. But again, it's, it's not quite what I wanted. Like, it's pretty cool. It can see my browser and stuff. And this is, I'm going to make another video about this because it can do things like apply for LinkedIn jobs for you or, or whatever. It could create Fiverr gigs for me. Actually, that's a pretty good one. Um, but overall, what it's built is it's built a production ready um, website, right? I can literally take this website now and I can launch it. It would be so easy to launch. It's actually ridiculous because NPM run build works, right? It will be, I'm really sorry about the name of this folder guys. Um, it will be really, really simple to, to launch this. So let's just, um, kill the pro I don't even know how to kill the process. I'll just go off Claude desktop, I guess. And then we'll open up this folder with the best name ever. Actually, I should already have it open. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the project that was made, right? If I do npm run build, the important thing for launching a website is that npm run build is successful, right? Because the server needs to be built on the live server. So you can see 107 pages, really, really nice amount of pages there. So now npm run dev, you can see, I really need to kill all these processes that I've got running, it's actually crazy. Um, but yeah, this is the end result and it's, it's amazing. Uh, the, just adding this tiny thing to this tiny, tiny bit to this prompt makes all the difference. This actually goes beyond anything that, uh, Klein does. For example, the problem with Klein and Roo is that there's a bit of a mismatch between, <laughs> between like the, the assistant and what it's currently reading and what it's aware of and the terminal logs, right? It, it often doesn't. I don't like how it's, I don't like how it does it basically, but Claude desktop is much better. And all I did was add this to the prompt, right? Make the project I've outlined, but change two things. First, I'm going to probably change this prompt a little bit before I post it, but I'm probably going to make sure that it runs NPM or that the project builds. Um, but yeah, just the self improving nature of this with, uh, desktop commander MCP works extremely, extremely well. Like I said, this is the best result I've ever had. It was a one shot. Um, I didn't have to do anything and I just built the entire project perfectly. Perfect SEO. Why did that not work? Oh, wait, the, is the project still running? No, I don't think that project's still running. Yeah, there we go. So it does work. Perfect result. This is the best I've ever seen it. I'll leave the video there, guys. This is a huge improvement and it just uses a very, very simple feedback loop um, inside the prompt. I'll leave the prompt in the description. I'll leave the other prompt as well to build this project. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.